Hi, everybody, and welcome to the NIT. Brad Nessler alongside Dick Vitale. Thanks for joining us for this first-round matchup between the Air Force Falcons and the Brown Bears. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead. They can put pressure on the favorite. Air Force controls the possession and pushes the ball up the floor. The Bears could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Secondly, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And finally, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. Number 12 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Number 20 goes to the charity stripe for three. He hits it. Second one is good. He makes the third shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Number 44, pump fakes. He goes with a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. There's the pick. Kicks it out. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. They go into the low block. Number 44 receives the pass. Top of the circle. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They'll work it around the arc. Now trying to feed the low block. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Outside jumper, he cleans the glass. Down inside, way out on top, controlling the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Air Force are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Looking for a good shot. The small forward receives the ball and off the mark. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Number 12 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Number 35 handles the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. The skip pass is picked off. The ball goes out of bounds. The shooting guard handles the feed. He gets that one to fall. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Trying to feed the low block. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And he missed. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. 
I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Kicking back outside. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's giving the offense the blues. And they get the turnover. For two, it's good. Number 20 picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. The Falcons are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First one, good. He makes them both. Has a nice look at the basket. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Number 35 is emotionally fired up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Working around the perimeter, moving it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Puts it up, looking for contact. Let's get a replay, baby. And now they'll bring it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. He grabs the rebound. On the outside. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. Nick, they just can't get the shot over this zone. It's a great execution on D. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. <laughs> and there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? up for two. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He nails the shot. Away jumper. Look at that follow through. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. Look at that spacing. 
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Let's slow it down on the replay. Pump fakes. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. That's an ill-advised shot. Man, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Jumps into the defender. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. A strip of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's a double team. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the inside, number 10 draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Two shots. Misses the first. Second shot, good. That's a 7-0 run. Boy, terrible execution on offense. And again, they look to run. Tries for two. Gets it to go. Stolen away. For two. They still don't score. Trying to draw the foul. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. He uses the shot fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They work the perimeter. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making the corner lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. On the outside, he tries to knock down the three. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Air Force are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. There's the trap. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Looking for contact.
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, the crowd seems to have expected this outcome, and you can tell they're certainly not surprised by tonight's score. All right, thanks, Aaron. And he'll kick it back outside. They've left him completely alone. He gets the bucket to fall. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Number 10 is pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 10 is going to the line. Makes the first shot. That's an eight-zip run. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. Says BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have thousand yards out there. Yeah, that helps. Backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. Anticipation defensively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Dump it inside. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Loads, sinks it. On the outside, intercepted. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two, and he missed. He'll kick it back outside. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy in the side. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't pull that, baby. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. For 
two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Fakes the shot from the baseline. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, man. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He intercepts it. Number 44. He gets the foul and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He is going to the line. Count it. Steals a pass. Way to cover the ball on defense. It causes a five-second infraction. Ball's coming from the sideline. We're going to move it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. For the bucket. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed it an ice inside basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Goes up for two. In and out. Picks off the pass. Defenders right up on him. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Defensively, they just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. To the line. Routine. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Misses the second. Rebounds it. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Perfectly executed. Pushing that basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover hit. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside outside action always works. on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense. He makes the block. Two for one opportunity. Jump 
blocked in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains it. Shot clock is dead. Fakes a jumper. Stolen ball. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He had to hurry that one. Misses the tray. At the end of the first half, the Falcons are up by 15. It's been an entertaining one so far, Dick. We can say that. What's your play of the half? My ally, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Brown got beat up on the boards in the first half. They made no commitment, Brad, to fight for the loose ball. I bet the coaching staff is going to hammer on the notion of aggressively crashing the boards for the rest of the game. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. I tell you, always special when you see the David and Goliaths. And you know that a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to calm out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Here's a spin down on the low block. Hunter's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you're a great post play. you got a chance really to win. No good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The shot from the baseline. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. On the outside. Got a nice screen. Way off target. Tries to get the D to bite. That spin move's not going to work against the D. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Great play to take that to the basket. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. Up and inside. The ball goes out of play. 
Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. Entry pass in the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. Fast break opportunity here. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Puts up the shot. Sinks the shot. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. With a little baby hook. And in and out. With a long bomb. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. The hammers at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The high screen. Tries for two. Easy one. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The land. There's the pick. There's the roll with the block. That's a great shot, man. He's like the human eraser. Get that baby out of the lane. The Falcons lead by nine. On the inside, jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up from three-point land. Knocks it down. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice high post screen. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. Good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Number 14 grabs it. Here they go into transition. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. off the lazy pass. Long down court pass. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. 
Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. On the outside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. For two, Brown are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. On the outside. Will take the shot way off target. Working it around the perimeter. And a shot block. Up and inside. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass picked out of the air he's open if he wants the shot It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. They're working around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Number 35 makes a great move to draw the foul. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. What they're saying is, we've been in these situations before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win here. Brown are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Gets the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Can't put it down. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you what, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Number 12 draws the personal. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Hits the first shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Picked off. 
Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Trying to draw some contact. Number 44 with a finger roll. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Another turnover. You're not talking apple turnovers either. From right in the circle, off the rim, and no good. They work the perimeter. They're right on top of that pass. On the outside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Air Force have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice steal, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. And they had it stolen away. One too many dribbles. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Dumps it in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Sets the screen for his teammate. On the top of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. From left of the circle. He nails the bucket. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta. He drains the bucket. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They run it up into transition. Brown is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. On the outside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There's the fake. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Double team now, bad angle. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. 
The center gets the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. For two, sinks it. Dribble gives it up. He takes the three. Yes! Picks off the lazy pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. High post screen. Number 44 picks up the foul. Third team foul. Number 31 gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's going to make an instant impact. Makes the first. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Gets his second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. From left to the circle. No. Number 22 is pounded on his way up. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. the first. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He gets them both. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. The center takes the feed. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Intercepted. And he'll kick it back outside. Steals the pass. Goes up for two. Lays it up. Great defense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He lets it go. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Just about ready for play to resume. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. Working it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. 
Here's a drop step in the low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Scorches the net. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? Dick? And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. At the free throw line. Makes the shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Second shot, good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. Shot clock is dead. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes the second shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He shoots from long range. Tickles the twine. And the clock stopped with a foul. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when to foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He hits his second. It's all about scoring here if they want a chance at winning. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Hits the first shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Hits the second shot. A bucket here is crucial. Hal out of the timeout, Brad. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. 
turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. He hits the first shot. Gets the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. from long range. Rims out. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. I'll tell you one thing. They're so well coached. They're really prepared, and they understand each other. They know who their strong players are, should be shooting the ball, and those that are liability. Brown loses the game. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can come away from this game with a moral victory. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.